is why you back burn. That's the downwind side and it is taking off. Pretty crazy. Hey guys, welcome back. It's spring 2016. Shed antler season has come and gone, which means it's time to get back to work. So last weekend, we started doing some of our controlled burns. So let's get right out there and check in and see how things are going. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today is why are we out here doing these burns? And um, you know, all this land is in the, uh, the CRP program. And to keep this grass growing thick and tall, it needs to have the old growth destroyed so that the new growth can come up. So around me, um, you might be able to see that this field is starting to get kind of patchy. Um, the switchgrass grows in clumps, um, but some of those clumps have started to die out or they're matted down and they're staying that way uh, through the growing season. So what we're doing here today is um, all this dry stuff that's matted down on the top, it's gonna burn totally through and then this will look just like a black carpet. Um, but in two, three weeks from now, the new seedlings will start to grow up and this will turn from that black carpet into uh, a totally green carpet and then by um, you know, late July, early August, we should have growth um, about up to our knee, if not a little bit higher than that. And it'll be much thicker, much fuller, and, um, and then we'll let that go for a couple more years before we come in and, and do another burn. Currently, we manage about 100 acres that are in the CRP program, and that can be a lot to tackle when it comes to trying to burn that all in one year. And we've found that you really don't need to burn them every year in order for the fields to be healthy and it takes a lot of stress out of it. So this year we're just doing three fields and um, we've got them mapped out here. And things that we'll keep in mind is, you know, the size of the field and if it's too big, we're gonna break it up into some chunks. Um, but that wind direction is gonna be what we primarily focus on and then wind speed. So we kind of have an east northeast wind at about 10 to 12 miles an hour. Uh, so what we're gonna try to do is do more back burning on some of these narrow fields. Uh, you can tell in the orientation here that an east wind is kind of the short side of the field and so um, we need to take our time with these a little bit more. So the first field is about nine or ten acres uh, and then the second and third fields that we'll be working on are about 20 acres. So let's talk about kind of what you're going to need if you're going to do some of these burns yourself. Now remember you know you want to be completely safe and if you haven't received the proper training um, you should seek that out first. But if you've got that all and you're just uh, looking for a place to start, here's what you need. The first thing you're going to need is a nice dry field. Next, you'll need some tools to help you fight the fire. You'll need something to start the fire with and something to put it out with. But most importantly, you need a lot of good help. What we're doing right now is we're burning into the wind um, and that's what we call a back burn, and that's one of our safety protocols for these controlled burns, and it's something that you're going to want to do on all of your burns too. And we start um, by running a bead. We use a propane tank, and we run it along the uh, downwind side of the field that we're burning, and then it'll slowly burn uh, into the wind. Now, depending on the, the size of the field and the proximity to um, you know houses, roads, things like that, uh, or wind conditions, you may choose to do the entire burn into the wind. It's going to be a lot more controllable, it's going to be a lot slower, uh, more predictable, and less smoke. Well that's going to do it for this week. All three of the burns went off without any major problems. One of the things that I was thinking about as I was putting together this episode is how complex the CRP program might seem to someone who hasn't had any experience with it. So over the next couple of weeks, I'll be putting together some information and kind of a how-to for how to get enrolled and how to get started in the CRP programs, at least in the state of Wisconsin. So check back for that. In the meantime, look back at some of the videos from our past season. Check out our new channel trailer. And until next time, get out in the woods and enjoy nature. Thank <laughs> you.